To write the name for CuNO3, we first need to recognize that we have the nitrate ion here bonded to the copper. So NO3, that's the nitrate ion. Good one to remember. The copper is a transition metal. So we have our transition metal, a metal, and a nonmetal, this group of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. So we're going to use these rules to write the name for CuNO3. First, we write the name for the metal. Cu is copper. And then this nitrate, NO3, this whole thing, the polyatomic ion, is just nitrate, lowercase n. And so far, we have copper nitrate is the name for CuNO3. But we said that copper, that's a transition metal. So it can have a different charge depending on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to the nitrate. Because of that, we have to write something in the middle here to show what the charge on the copper is. So the nitrate ion, the whole thing, has an ionic charge of 1 minus. For this to equal 0, the copper has to be 1 plus. So the ionic charge on the copper, 1 plus, we write copper, Roman numeral 1, in parentheses. Copper 1 nitrate. So the name for CuNO3 is copper 1 nitrate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.